Hello learners of class 10, welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Today we will do the poem Fire and Ice by Robert Frost. Learners, it is a very short poem you know at the end of the first lesson. It is probably appropriate for us to think of uh, this poem now, you know the reason. So, let us get into the poem. Why has the poet Robert Frost talked about ice and fire together? You know that ice and fire disproportionately against each other. Okay. So, learners, you learners, Kriti is with me and me, Meghanathan, we will together appreciate, read, understand the meaning and do something with the poem and to derive some meaning on our own, each one individually and together. Look at the pictures there, Kriti. Yes, sir. Uh, this is drawn by a class 3 child and I just asked him, will you please draw me my neighbor, his name is Ashwin. I asked him, will you please draw fire and ice. He asked Yeksad, should I do it together? Yes. So, he has drawn, let us see it, which is on the screen, one side fire, the other side. Ice. Ice. One side fire and the other side ice. What do you think of fire and ice? Kriti, learners there attempt to answer my questions. What do you think of fire and ice? Comes to your mind when you think of fire and ice. Fire and ice could be destructive in nature. Both. Both. Okay. But, and, hmm. but when we use it in a smaller forms, like we use fire to cook food, we use ice in beverages. So, they are not harmful, they, fine, are, they fine. actually help us. Fine, but I asked someone, some children, they said fire is dangerous, destruction, ice is not. But because we have not experienced how ice can also be dangerous. Yes, sir. So, if you are put into Himalayas or in icy re yes. region, it will be much Very more dangerous. Worse the one. Okay. Okay. Now, the poet is somewhat worried about how will the world come to an end. Learners, do you think the world will come to an end? If you believe so, the world will come to an end. Kriti, do you think that how it will come to an end? Sir, I do not think so that the world will end anytime soon. Okay. You are an optimist. I appreciate that. We should be hopeful. The world will never come to an end. Okay. But even scientists, particularly physicists, scientists who study the phenomena, physical phenomena, they say the way, what is it? Big yeah. Bang theory came up, yes, from somewhere yes. it came, it might be possible the earth might lose its strength slowly, slowly in due course of time that will take millions of millions of years and might become completely what to say useless, unfit to live. Okay. So, it might come to an end, okay, sir. even in scientifically, but let us, we hope that the world will never come to an end, but supposing hypothetically, imagine if the world will end, how will it end? Learners, think about it, close your eyes and think about it. Take two minutes, think how the world will end. Sir, it might end because of natural disasters. Fine. And uh, many people say that uh, a meteor mm. or a comet will. Yeah, meteorite yeah. or yeah, yes. something will hit. Yes. The other one is, we humans are also spoiling yes, our. Yes, we are overusing the okay. resources of our earth, so it can lead to destruction of the earth. Yeah, fine. But let me tell you, learners, let us be hopeful and optimistic. Like definitely, like sir. Kriti was, humans know how to survive. But let's l listen to the poet Robert Frost. What he thinks about the world, how it would come to an end. Come on. Here is a poem. Let's read up to you first, then understand the poem. Okay, I am going to ask Kriti to read first. Then let me read. Then you will read. We will be reading this poem many a time in order to decode the meaning and understand. Kriti, come on, let me ask you to read. Come on. Sure, sir. Here is the poem Fire and Ice by the famous American poet Robert Frost. Of course, he went to England later. Yeah, fine. Fire and Ice. 
Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favour fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. Uh, it was a good re reading, Kriti. Let me also read out to you learners. But before I read out, let us know the objectives of this lesson. We should know how we are planning our lesson. So, here are the objectives for you. Kriti is reading out. Please read out. Learners will be able to read, comprehend and respond to the poem Fire and Ice. Interpret and express various shades and layers of meaning. Learn the words fire, ice, desire, favour, perish, destruction to denote various meanings. Identify the rhyme scheme and rhyming words in a poem. Very good, very good. Okay. These are the objectives Kriti has read out. Okay. Now, we are going to read, understand and respond to the poem. I said read, understand, giving a kind of respond to the poem. So, understand deeper and various layers of meaning, shades of meaning. Then learn some words fire, eyes, desire, favor, perish and destruction, but these words have different meanings as used as desired by the poet, as used by the poet. Also we understand the rhyme scheme, it is a very short modern poem. Robert Frost was a great poet, 20th century poet, he got Nobel Prize also. Fine. Let me read out learners, here is the poem, fire and eyes, some say the world will end in fire. Some say in ice. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favour fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate. To say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice. Learners, but the very short lines, precious use of words. Kriti, yes, sir. the poet brings out many, many things. Fire and ice, some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favour fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice. Okay. Kriti. Yes, sir. Uh, we have read uh, more than enough of time, more than twice. Now, let us understand a bit more. You read the first stanza for us as well as for the benefit of learners. Hmm. Sure, sir. Hmm. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favour fire. Fine. Second stanza. But if had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. Great. Now, let us list out how the world can come to an end or how the world can be destroyed by fire and ice. So, you have your pen with you yes, sir. and the paper. Yes, sir. Look at the first one. How will the world end? Fire. Okay, sir. How it can destroy it by fire? Just some pointers you write. Forest fires, hmm. which are also increasing nowadays. Fine. I know that the entire Australia, lots of uh, forest fires. Amazon is. Amazon and, and yeah. even uh, Uttarakhand is now yeah, suffering Uttar for. Okay. Then sometimes our farmers burn their. Yes, crop. No, not that. Stubble. Uh, that. Uh, Harvested, yes, uh, yes. thrash, uh, thrashed yes, ones, sir. you know. Yes, sir. So the the world is also also facing danger from fire. And then second one, man-made fires, like in large industries, when yeah. the industries <coughs> could, you know, when a fire fine, happens fine. in an the world industry. Can. And what about uh, from lightning as uh, well? Li lightning. And what about uh, uh, some objects from comets? Or uh, what's it? Asteroids. Yes, sir. That also can. Yes. Do that. 
Okay, fine. Okay. Now, how the world will end in ice? Okay, sir. Because of reasons related to ice. Okay, sir. Kiriti, you have written fire and ice as objects of destruction. And now, tell our learners how you feel the way they also may have written how ice can be destructive. How? Sure, sir. Hmm. Ice could be destructive when there is a heavy snowfall. Fine. Blizzards. Yes. Landslides because Due of the heavy snowy, snowfall. Yeah. snowy mountains, which could lead to earthquakes and other natural calamities. Exactly, exactly. And heavy hailstorms. Hailstorm. You know that yes, we have seen letter yes. to God that Lencho suffered uh, because of a heavy, heavy hailstorm. Hail okay. Now, it is interesting, we have seen, we have read the poem, we have seen from your point of view, let learners think how fire can destroy the world. You are watching a lot of Hollywood movies, Bollywood movies, Indian movies uh, everywhere. You are seeing that some alien things come and yes, they mostly they, they use fire. I, I wonder sometimes, we have not seen anything, ice is being poured from there or temperature is slowed down. So, we do not know. So, learners, the poem is slightly philosophical, fully philosophical for that matter. So, let us read again, having discussed how the world can come to an end. So, here is Kriti to read out to you again. So, the poem. Sure, sir. Now, recall what we have discussed, how the world can come to an end due to fire or and due to ice. So, now keep that in mind and listen to what Kriti is reading out. Come on. Fire and ice. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. Okay. Now, let me ask you some provoking questions. The poet is the poet in dilemma that the world might end either in fire or in ice. Okay. But he was, in a way, he is sure that the world will end. He is sure that the world will end, but. I beg to differ there. But he is, does he mean fire and ice or something else? He is using the word hate, destruction, desire. We do not know. Let us get into the poem to understand again. So, let me also read out to the learners with your something in your mind. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor ice. First, the poet is holding his decision on fire. fire. Then, look at now, immediately he changes. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate. From where the hate comes? He said ice, fire and he, oh, I agree with those who, who favor fire, who, who say that it will perish in fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate. Why? We do not know. A lot of hate among people to say that for destruction ice is also great and that would suffice. Okay. Now, let us look at the words there. We will come to the meaning again. Here is the two category. One is fire, ice. The poet also says two things, desire and hate. So, now, there are two columns here for you learners, which appears on the screen. Find the words which can relate fire, find the word which can relate ice. So, you may circle it and put an arrow towards ice and connect it. Look at this, come on, fire. The words are greed, avarice, cruelty, lust, conflict, fury, intolerance, rigidity, insensitivity, coldness, indifference, hatred. So, forget the poem for some time. What are the words which can relate to this? Come on. Kriti is doing for you learners. 
greed can go in fire? Yes, sir. Okay. Then? Avarice can go with ice. Yes. I am not sure, but let us let us okay. mark. Cruelty with fire. Yes. Lust with fire. Yes. Conflict with fire. Yes. Fury with fire. Yes. Intolerance with fire. Yes. Rigidity with ice. Yes. Because ice is strong and rigid. Insensitivity, I would say, with both. Both. Then? Coldness with ice. Yes, naturally. Indifference with ice. Yes. Hatred would be both. Both. Learners. Kriti has mocked. You also may have mocked something. It has nothing to do with the, the entire meaning of the poem. Here are words which people can relate. Let us read again the poem. Twice we are going to read. Kriti will read once, I will read once. So, let us discover the poem. Yes. Fire and ice. Some say the world will end in fire. Some say in ice. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. Fine. Before I read out to you learners, let us have some discussion on that. Kriti, the point is not taking its own stand. He says that he is listening to people, he is watching people. He says, some say the world will end in fire. And some say in ice. It, there's two different opinions. But then he comes to himself. What I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. Why he has used desire? Are we desiring too much as humans? As a society, we are longing for more and more. Suppose I have a small car, I want to buy a big car. I want to have small house, I want a big house. I want to spend money. Lot of we are consuming more. So, he is now, first he says, some people say it is fire, some people say it is ice. What I feel is fire because it can easily swallow, ice may slowly do. So, desire is one thing which can destroy the world. Let us look at the other one. So, that is one, once it will perish, how it will perish? Fire. And what is that fire? Desire, desire of desire. Then the second one, if it had to perish twice, okay, the world perished once and comes back, again it perishes, then what is that? I know, I think I know enough of hate. And what is equivalent to hate? Ice, is it? It may be. The poet relates, what is equivalent to hate? Ice. Ice. So, but if it had to perish twice, Learners, note it. I think I know enough of hate to say that destruction ice is also great and would suffice. See, one side fire, the other side ice. ice. One side desire, other side hate. hate. So, look at learners, Kriti, what is he symbolically connecting? He is connecting sort of human desires and human hate. Hatred towards, towards ice the... and fire. So, yes, sir. In a way, we are clear now, which will destroy the world, not ice and fire, but what? the human desires and, and the hatred. human hatred. Okay. Learners, the point, we have uncovered the meaning, the world will be destroyed either by ice or fire, either by fire or ice or either by desire, desire. and hatred, Hate. human hatred. Okay. Learners, you read the poem once, twice and it has many layers of meaning. Symbolically, he equates, he compares desire with fire, hatred with ice. ice. Okay. Now, learners, when you read a poem, you also notice some poetical devices. Let us look at some of the rhyming words. Kriti, yes, let me sir. ask you to read the last words of each line. Okay, sir. Okay. Fire. Yes. Ice. Yes. Desire. Yes. Fire, yes. twice, yes. hate, yeah. ice, hmm. great, suffice. suffice. So, let us supply the rhyme scheme to the poem. I am going to read out the line by line. Kriti, 
you will be writing it there as it appears corresponding to the sound. Some say the world will end in fire, fire is A. A. Some say in eyes. B. From what I have tasted of desire. A. Why? Because it goes with the first fire. Fire. Okay. And I hold those who favor fire. A. And if it had to perish twice. B. Because it goes with eyes. Eyes. I think I know enough of hate. C. Because it has it's not appeared yes. so far. Then to say that for destruction eyes. B. Because it goes with eyes and twice. And to say that for destruction eyes is also great. C. Because it goes with hate. Eight. And would suffice. B. Okay, fine. Now, what is the rhyme scheme? A, B, A, A, B, C, B, C, B. Okay. There is no pattern, but the poet has used his own way of writing because it is a modern poetry, free verse and there is no meter control. So, but ideas are important. So, learners, let us also understand what makes a poem great? The idea. Yes. And sir. use of selective words of words. The poet uses desire, favor, hatred, hate, destruction, suffice. Okay. Now, look at it. You are going to read out again. Learners, you may repeat after her or just listen to her. So, let us read the poem again. Fire and ice. Some say the world will end in fire. Some say in ice. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. Fine, learners, look at the poem again. Underline the words which go with the word fire. Look at tasted, desire, favor. Then look at the words perish, enough, destruction, great and suffice. There are two categories of words. So, one is relating to human desire, lust, longing, another is relate, another set of words are related to hate. So, how will the world end? Not ice and fire, how will it end? Maybe because of human hatred towards one another. Then? Or it could be because of the desires. They over have. ambitious, over yes. consumption. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Now, learners, find words which can go with the word fire and ice. It appears. Do it on your own. We are not going to do it here. Now, one final reading, then some assignment for you how to understand the poem. Do not, you do not have to do everything in a poem. The ideas are important. Appreciate it. Come on. Read the poem again. Sure, sir. The final reading. Fire and ice. Some say the world will end in fire. Some say in ice. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. Okay. Learners, the world will not end either in fire or in ice. It might, it would end either human excess desires and excess hatred. So, let us be careful lead a humanly meaningful life. Okay. Poem. Learners, Kriti, we have come to the end of this lesson, very short one. I have only mentioned twice or thrice the name of the poet. We have not discussed his life, work, where he was born, what did he do. It is not necessary at this point of time. Learners, poem is important. Of course, the poet is important, but the context is important. He wrote in after the Second World War during the 20th century crisis. So, you may google or you may go to the library, find out about the poet, 
he got nobel prize for literature he was uh, propagating peace through his poetry very very strong poetry so before we close here are some assignments for you some activities for you so which appears on your screen How, what will i do having learned this lesson read the poem again do the task at the end of the lesson in the textbook underline the new words and find the meaning of the words in the dictionary or your own or google and find out we have got the word desire enough destruction hate many many words perish then another thing very interesting thing try and translate the poem into your mother tongue or any language you know and share it and display on the school notice board fine next task let them you write a paragraph on the theme and the ideas of the poem how will the world come to an end that would be really interesting mm -hmm. yes then as i said robert frost is the poet here find about him his work and life thank you very much learners for having participated let me also thank kriti thank for, you, for actively actively taking part thank you very much thank learners you. of class 10 do well and there is a small suggestion for you you read the prose lessons uh, story before the teacher takes up in the classroom that would make your uh, learning much better and you don't bother if you don't understand each and every word of the story or the prose lesson you read if you understand the meaning of the story and the lesson that would be fine because you read newspaper you don't have to bother the meaning of each word you are looking for the overall meaning so thank you learners have a nice time we will meet in the next class thank you kriti thank you sir